Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. And this is this is a quick update about sleep and just health because that's what I've been doing for three days. Or is it four days now? Anyways, I finally got sleep last night without waking up except for one time and without shaking or locking of the legs and nothing crazy last night thankfully and right before bed I, no I was laying in bed but right as I was trying to fall asleep feel overcame overcame me because I was remembering what happened. Why do I always do that? I like tilt my head and this is I've always tilt my head and it's like like feel overcame me because I was remembering what happened last night with the uh, two nights ago. Well, I, my legs locked and I was just shaken. Again, I don't really know of that what happened because I was half asleep. So yeah, I was remembering that I had fail. How did I overcome this fail? I did a I have to get the actual name of this. What I did was I grounded myself through this invocation ritual. This okay. This this ritual is either invocation to your guardian angel, holy guardian angel, or it banishes negative energies, negative spirits, or even the four elements it can banish. Uh, I just use it as a basic energy repellent and ground in. It is called Well, let me actually pull up the page. <laughs> the name is the Lesser Ritual of the Pentagram, also known as LBRP. It was originally taught by the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn as a banishing vegetable. This is also can be found in a labor O. Again, written. Well, I'm not actually sure. I just look up labor O or. L B R P um There's a lot of commentary on this page that I am looking on. Opinion on huges protection, purification, union. So there's that to it. Um, it also adds the Kabbalah. Um, QBL
So I've been doing that to accidentally, if I feel the need to ground myself or if I feel afraid or, well, anything really. You basically know when you need to do it, and this is another tool in my arsenal to help me. So find whatever works for you, you might have, for all I know, you might have written your own prayer for protection or what have you. But that's actually just comes from the heart or your higher self or your spirit guides could give it to you. So now yeah, that was just a quick update. There's nothing else to add. Except for the spirit energy is almost back to normal, if not already normal, um, back to its current levels of how I feel normal. You know, when you feel off and then it's like your energy comes back slowly. Mine is pretty much back to normal or already normal. So there's that good news as well. Not much else to say other than that, uh, sorry for like this weird squint that I gave, uh, like, like, like this. I, I w was not even aware that I was doing that. So if, I, if it appeals that I gave you a dirty look, it was actually to myself trying to figure out what I was trying to say, and then it came. So I apologize if that came off as negative, because that was not the point because it kind of looked like I was given the evil eye when I wasn't. Which is apparently a thing. I don't know. I don't really do much. Do much with my eyes. I do know the eyes give off certain uh, things. Uh, energies. You can tell a lot about a person just by reading their eyes. That is a thing. It goes along with the aura, the energy, uh, the vibration they give off. The eyes also add in to that. So that's why I gave that statement saying it was not a dirty look, it was not evil, it was not negative, it was just me trying to think. And half of that, I was not even well until a second later or whatever. There was nothing else to add. I thank you for your time until we meet again, my friends.